When it comes to fighting gun violence, everyone sitting here has a piece of the proverbial pie. Those of us that stand in between the shooting becoming the homicide also need the support to make sure that we are successful because you need us to be successful. So so fewer people die. Chip Decker from Richmond Ambulance Authority making a similar pitch to Senator Mark Warner as others in this room asking for funding to keep RVA's collaborative crime fighting machine going. I remember in my career a time in the 90s where um, crime was going up, a lot of violent crime. Uh, the cause of it was a lot of uh, drugs. But from the federal government, we had a lot of access to grants, programs that pushed and promoted community policing community involvement, things that uh, would pay for bicycle for cops to get out into the community. We need more of that. Chief Gerald Smith, along with Richmond Sheriff Antoinette Irving, also asking the senator for more help with funds for mental health. All ideas to combat the giant elephant in the room, gun violence. As we've heard so many times in the past, the federal dollars have been, they are tied to a specific program. They're not very flexible. You're never going to get the level of flexibility of the money that's come in this year. Let's use that flexibility to put it to better use. If you have blood on your hands and you're witnessing every day, you're talking to the moms every day, you're a perfect voice to never stop saying, hey, can we get together to stop this? And this is what we have done in this collaborative model. A model that includes paying teens for their ideas. Offering them recreation opportunities, things that are culturally relevant and age appropriate, so they're having fun things to do during the highest risk hours of the day, um, which is at the end of the school day to 10 o'clock at night. On top of which, we're compensating these young people. Um, and the message that we're sharing with their families is, your children are helping us design a brand new way of helping communities heal from gun violence. And paying teens to participate in some of the city's recreational activities certainly raised a few eyebrows in that room, but city leaders say it's better to do that than the teen being on the street hustling a buck in a far more dangerous way. Working for you tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.